the Jadami Maiden chases next and once again beware the mid-season Maidens stuck with a four mile tag you win this Mayhem on Ice Darren Thompson Nicholas Silver Martin Leader Margall Star Paul Parsons Avon Pants David Robertson Shimon DeFay Padraig Hogan Earth Leader John Morgan Garus Padraig Hogan Katie Holmes and Tron Spitfires for Matt Cooper and Window Rock Beach for Vinnie Gerrard off they go then ten of them and Shimon DeFay is the first one to show Padraig Hogan's got two in this so too has Matt Cooper they get to the first which is a huge ditch and they all got over it okay and the pace is somewhat pedestrian as you'd perhaps expect for a four miler but it's earth leader I think he's making his debut he's got over that one I think we had a fall there we did indeed Window Rock Beach has gone so a surprise there as really Gerard departs the race early it's Earth Leader in the lead from the Yellow Jacket and Shimon de Fay in second. Then the only grey in the field, Nicholas Silver, is in third. I don't see many greys today as they get over the third. And we'll safely over that one. Katie Holmes just a button mark, but they're really tightly grouped and they're crawling along. 26 fences to take in all in this one. The electric fence has been turned off and they get over the next. And Earth Leader is in the lead. A good four minutes or so to Shimon de Fay second. Garus on the outside third also for Padre Hogan. And then comes Nicholas Silver and Katie Holmes with Avon Pants in the turquoise and maroon hoops. And second of Matt Cooper's then trying to spit is on the outside of Mayhem on Ice with the maroon jacket and the white sleeves and then the white jacket with the red cap of Argyle Star. Just the back marker. So Earth Leader Leading by two lengths to Shimon de Fay in second. And Katie Holmes in third as they get to the sixth of the 26. And safely over that one. The earth leader in front. Shimon de Fay second. Katie Holmes third. Nicholas Silva fourth. And they get to the seventh. And jump in. Okay, so far, with the exception of that window rock peaks that departed early on, but the rest of them have been jumping okay. And Earth Leader in the lead for John Morgan, not going quite as quickly as quite a lot of John Morgan's front runners do. People to a more sensible sort of pace as they come up past the stand. They've got to go around another couple of times yet. And they're all over that one, which was fence number eight. So two more circuits ahead of them then. And Earth Leader is in the lead. Lots of long distance races this week. We've got two more millions coming up. We've got the Welsh National as well tomorrow. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a fairly long distance race. Either yesterday or next as well. But anyway, Earth Leader is in front from Shimon de Fay second. They get over the next one with Nicholas Silver and Katie Holmes in Trump Spitfires on the outside of Avon Pants and Mayhem on Ice. And Argyle Star has gone past Garus, who is now the back marker. Earth leader, six lengths clear over this ditch. The rest of them all jumped it really well as well. Over number 11, they go mistake that time there was by Shimon de Fay, who's now dropped back into fourth. As the grey Nicholas Silver takes over in second, and Trump Spitfires moves up into third. There's a line of three then Katie Holmes, Mayor, and Ice and Avon Pants, with Argyle Star and Garus at the back as they take the 12th. Now heading down towards the 13th, and that'll be the first half of the jumping done. towards the midway point in the race then the two mile mark and it'll be two miles completed and two miles to go earth leader over this ditch in the lead from nicholas silver always oh, a faller there it's mayhem on ice has gone so the second horse to depart is darren thompson's mayhem on ice earth leader continuing to lead by a good five or six lengths to nicholas silver in second 
Prime Spitfires on the outside is third, and then Shimon de Fay four. And Avon Pants a couple of lengths behind that one with Katie Holmes on the inside, and then Argyle Star, and finally Garus. Plenty close enough to play a part in the finish yet, that one, as they get over number 15. All we'll drop that well on the field. Of, starting to bunch up again there. The Earth Leader is only leading by about two lengths now as Trump Spitfires moves into second ahead of the Grey Nicholas Silver in third. Jockey on Shimon the Fame and a look around and see where the rest of them are. They've been looking for his stable mate. Casey Holmes made a mistake at that one and has now been relegated to the back spot as Garus moves past her. It's only 10 lengths from first to last now as Earth Leader leaves. Nicholas Silver's regained second ahead of Triumph Spitfires. And Shimon the Fame's going well again now after that mistake early on. Then Argyle Star and Avon Pants as they get over the next really good jump there by Triumph Spitfire sort of jump back into second. And it's within a length of the leader now as they pass the big screen and pass the winning post. One more circuit to go. And uh, this is starting to get interesting. Couldn't get tactical. The pace has not been all that hot, so somebody could go for a sprint finish like in one of those Tour de France bike races where somebody goes for it. Let's see if they can get away. And they get over the 18th. What you know about the horses, you guess if anybody is going to do that, it's going to be the leader. It's Earth Leader in front from Trump Spitfires in second, then Nicholas Silver third, Shemon de Fay, and then Katie Holmes. A couple of lengths then back to Avon Pants, Argyle Star, and Garus. As they come down to the next with Earth Leader over this ditch in the lead. From Triumph Spitfires and Katie Holmes, the second Matt Cooper horse now is creeping up. That one's been running some eye-catching races over the last few weeks as they get over the 20th, and they're all safely over that one with now Katie Holmes coming up on the outside of Earth Leader and maybe just poking her head in front. Then comes Triumph Spitfires, Nicholas Silver is next, then Shimon de Frey with Avon Pants on the inside of Argyle Star and Garus still just the back marker but plenty close enough as they around this turn. They've still got six and a half furlongs to go. That's the 21st. And there's a fall there. Nicholas Silver's gone. Earth Leader's regained the lead. So it's Earth Leader back in front from Katie Holmes in second. Shemon de Fay is back in third. This leading pair is starting to pull away as they get over the 22nd. It's Earth Leader from Katie Holmes. Then comes Shemon de Fay. Argyle Star has now moved through in the fourth. Then Avon Pants and Garus trying to spitfires. He's dropping out of it. This is the final ditch. The fourth from home. And over it they go. And it's Earth Leader who's back into a three length lead from Katie Holmes in second Shimon de Fay and Argyle Star trying to run on then Avon Pants Garus and Triumph Spitfires and it's Earth Leader past the four pole with a three length lead over Katie Holmes who's now starting to look a little bit one pace Argyle Star is looking the big danger on the outside as they race towards the third last Argyle Star chasing down the leader Earth Leader is that leader gets over a third last really good jump there by Argyle Star in second then comes Shimon de Fay in third Katie Holmes sticking on in fourth gap back to Avon Pants and Triumph Spitfires and Garou Spitz Argyle Star hits the front then as they come down to the second last Argyle Star in front from Earth Leader in second Argyle Star lands in the lead Earth Leader made a mistake and he's surely now beaten. It's Argyle Star who's gone two to three clear of Shemon de Fay in second and Katie Holmes back in third. Avon Pants moves into fourth as the long time leader drops away. They're racing down towards the final fence then now and it's Argyle Star who is well clear and Argyle Star is five to six lengths clear. Jumps the last nicely. Gets away from it well. Shemon de Fay is running on in the second but not going to get anywhere near the leader. It's Argyle Star that takes it. Shemon de Fay second and then Katie Holmes third, Avon Pants fourth, then Earth Leader Trials bit fast, and finally Garus and Argyle Star takes it for the poor Parsons, a pretty impressive victory there wins that one quite comfortably from Shimon de Fay so Argyle Star the winner for Paul Parsons Shimon de Fay second for Padre Hogan Casey Holmes third for Matt Cooper, Avon Pants fourth for David Robertson and Earth Leader fifth for John Morgan the slightly worrying thing for my body then is Argyle Star is only a six-year-old. And I've got a feeling six-year-olds are not allowed in the Grand National. Isn't it seven-year-old minimum? Maybe somebody want to remind Paul Parsons about that he's a new trainer. Perhaps if that is the rule, we can waive it for this season because I'm sure he probably didn't realise. He's got a decent form either there.